again, Steve Sandow from Intermountain Paleo Consulting, bonesforlearning.com. Come find us on the web. We have lots of great specimens for sale. We're going to have some great video series on geology and paleontology, tooth anatomy, skull anatomy, comparative anatomy, just lots of great learning. But today, let's go find out what Dan Burke is doing. So Dan, what are you doing today? Today I'm going to assemble a fox skeleton. This is a red fox, um, scientific name Vulpus vulpus. Awesome. Where did you find that fox? This one came from a dumpster. <laughs> so this was part of our prepping animal series, correct? Correct. So if you want to see the whole series about how to take an animal from when you find it dead anywhere, all the way through to where you can use it as a lab specimen, check out our Preparing Animals video series. So, today you're going to assemble the whole animal right there on that table. Yes, I am. Well, that'll be fun to watch. We're just going to go ahead and turn the camera on you and you can go for it. That looks wonderful. Thank you. So what is the most challenging aspect of putting a skeleton together? The little bones are the most challenging aspect. The hands and feet, um, distinguishing them from one another is, is sometimes really hard. Also, getting the ribs left and right sorted out in the correct order can be a bit of a mess. So another option that we have at bonesforlearning.com is that we can send you your specimens with labels on them. So if you had labels on them, would that make it quite a bit easier? Oh, absolutely. So Dan will label a specimen for you, and so you can use it in your lab or your classroom situation. That would be great for an opportunity for your students to learn uh, the bone names, their order in the animal, and you can use those for quizzes, for tests, and just for general learning. Well, Dan, thank you again today for sharing your talents with working with these bones. Thank you. Thank you.